If you grew a vegetable garden at all this year, chances are that tomatoes were a big part of it. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, there are 25,000 different varieties of tomatoes to choose from. You may not have grown that many, but Garden Master Jim Duthie grew 19 different kinds, and today he's showing us a few of his favorites. Tomatoes are by far the most popular thing that people grow in their vegetable gardens. And no wonder, there's so many different kinds and they can be used in so many ways. This year, as you can see, I planted quite a few tomatoes and they've grown to fill my garden beds. I actually planted about 19 different kinds of tomatoes. Let me show you some of my favorites. Tomatoes originated in Central and South America and were introduced to the rest of the world in the 1600s. At first, many Europeans and early Americans considered them unfit to eat, even poisonous. Their scientific name means edible wolf peach, and at one time they were even referred to as love apples. And whether you pronounce it tomato or tomato, the question remains, are they a fruit or a vegetable? Technically, tomatoes are fruits. Botanically, they are considered a berry of the tomato vine. But due to their low sugar content, U.S. trade laws consider them a vegetable. And in popular culture, most people also think of them as vegetables and use them in everything from salads to sauces to sandwiches, but not in desserts. There are hybrid varieties of tomatoes that are specially developed to stand up against plant disease, pests, drought, and temperature extremes. One example of the, is this variety called the big beef. As you can see, it produces a lot of very large beefsteak tomatoes that are great for slicing and eating. Beefsteak tomatoes are a national favorite because of their size and flavor. And this hybrid, called Big Beef, consistently produces big crops of tomatoes in all kinds of growing conditions. And it resists almost all of the common plant diseases and pests. Cut open a Big Beef and you've got yourself a beautiful slice of tomato, perfect for topping a juicy burger. Other popular hybrid varieties include Celebrity and Early Girl, which are smaller than beefsteak tomatoes, but are still great for slicing and eating in salads. Roma tomatoes are another hybrid that resists bugs and diseases and produces lots of long, narrow tomatoes about three to four inches long that are very meaty, making them perfect for cooking down in sauces and soups. Slice one open and you'll see how meaty they are. Then there are the heirloom varieties. These are the original strains of tomatoes without any cross-pollination. Some of these varieties go back many generations to other countries and were brought over with the immigrants and pioneer settlers. They usually have a more robust flavor, but sometimes they are subject to issues with disease and pests. Among the heirloom tomatoes that I like best are these ox heart varieties. Hungarian and Kosovo ox hearts, and German pinks. They produce very large, thick tomatoes as big as your fist, and they're triangular shaped, like an animal's heart. I like them because I get a crop of thick, sweet, flavorful tomatoes that rival anything you could ever possibly buy in a store. Take a look at these ox hearts and German pinks when they're sliced open. For something different, go green, like these green giant tomatoes that get as big as a beefsteak, but they never turn red. You know they're ripe when they soften a bit and develop a tinge of bronze in the skin. And the flavor, rich, mellow, and sweet. Whichever types of tomatoes you decide to plant next year, consider how you want to use them, whether they'll be used mainly for just eating and in salads, or if you're planning to use them in salsa and sauces. Then you'll be sure to get the variety that's right for you. And as always, you can grow it. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm Jim Doofy. And when you purchase tomato plants or seeds, also consider how much space you have. I know, Brian, we have some tomatoes that have taken over It takes over yard. all kinds of space. <laughs> yes, you have yeah. to plan for that. You can only plant like one, other, and then by this time, or this time of the year, you're just inundated with tomatoes. Yeah, and you don't know.